How's it going everyone? Thought today it would be good to harvest my stevia. So we've had pretty crummy weather here lately and there's a, there's a bit of a break in the weather. So I thought it would be a good time to harvest it. So stevia is uh, a herb. It's been used um, for thousands of years as a um, natural sweetener. Uh, it can, it's up to 30 to 50 times sweeter than sugar. And uh, a lot of soft drink companies now uh, have actually been using it to sweeten their drinks, such as uh, Coke. They've got their new uh, product, Coke Life, and Pepsi have got a new product sweetened with stevia as well. So these are my stevia plants. Had them for a few years. Uh, this one's been three, this one's been two, and this little one here, this is its first year. Um, now, these two aren't really going as well as the last year. It's probably because I haven't really given them much uh, manure and compost um, during this year. But I'll still get a harvest out of it. So what I do is go right up to the base. The base is like right there. I cut uh, about uh, two and a half centimeters or an inch above it. And what that does is the next, um, actually not next year, um, during spring, so about six months time, um, there'll be new shoots that form from the base or from the roots. Generally for me it's from the roots and they um, sprout up and each year the plant just gets bigger. It almost adds an extra layer um, of shoots. So let's get the harvesting. So you harvest your stevia during autumn time. This is because during the summer months you get lots of growth but the um, plant isn't very sweet because it takes cold weather during the autumn and winter months um, to get that sweetness from the leaf. I've left a good inch, maybe probably two inches, five centimeters of the stem left. All of these leaves I'll pick as well. Over here, I don't know if you can really see, there are actually some ants right there helping themselves to uh, the sugars in the plant. I'll just pick off the tip. Oh, a bit hard, there we go. And I'll do the same thing as to this plant as I did to the plant here. Just leave an inch or two, so two and a half centimeters to five centimeters of the stem left. And then during spring, it'll reshoot. So this is some of the stevia that I've harvested. Now I've just got to dry it out so it gets real crispy and then I'm going to grind it down into a powder. So now all the um, stevia stems are dry, I'm going to pick the leaves off and put them in this bowl so then I can grind them up into a nice fine powder. I've got my mini food processor here. I'm just going to tip all the leaves in and grind up into a powder. This will be very, very noisy. Alright, here we go. Oh, turning it on would be handy. Okay, so at the moment the leaves are just a bit coarse, so to get it into a fine powder I'm going to put in the mortar and pestle. So now I'm just going to pour this through the sieve to get any um, larger particles of the stevia out. So things like that, too big, so the sieve will get them out. Made a temporary funnel. There you have it. That's one season's harvest of stevia. So now you, I'll be using this powder. Um, you can really use stevia powder just for anything that. Um, needs sugar um, except for like jams and um, chutneys and stuff like that because you need that actual sugar to produce that gelatin um, but otherwise use it in teas and coffees cakes I also use it for sweetening um, the yogurt that we make so um, any comments questions or inquiries just put them in the comments box below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible so thanks for watching